oriented programming system right and yes. in that we have a class concept and a object concept we can say like oops we have class object just now we have seen that class is a collection of variable and function and functions yes and the object is a memory block for that particular class because structure also we are creating an object and that object indicates the memory block for the structure right now okay. apart from this programmatical terminology I just want to know in a simpler manner what is class and object consider that in your surroundings what are the objects are present laptop mobile right all these are objects which are visible to you means yes. object exists physically and here every object has some properties like you can say what is the color of the bottle black blue brown and those objects can be used to perform some action right yes so here If I say what is not an object, then what will be the example? What is not an object which we cannot see? <laughs> right. Which we can't see means doesn't exist physically. Example, yeah. air, air, dreams, thoughts, energy, feeling, Feelings. all this comes under not an object and here yes. if it exists physically I said object if it yes. doesn't exist I will say class simple I'm giving a term okay. now doesn't exist oh. okay so object okay. has some properties which are visible and it can perform some action and class it doesn't exist physically okay now okay so I thought uh, class is a group of objects isn't that correct will this will come to that we'll see this thing. okay okay fruit is a class or okay. a object what is that fruit is an object mango Actually, is a class or object object apple class or object object what is the color of apple red what is the color of Green. mango yellow what's the color of fruit depending on which fruit it is it changes that's what you, you are able to say mango apple color then what is the color of fruit I'm asking so fruit like mango is a fruit apple is a fruit yes, so fruit yeah. is a category right so fruit is not an object fruit is a class okay, okay. Now, the class is a collection of objects or a group of objects. Yeah. It's the same yes. difference, right? Where yes, fruit yes. is a collection of mango and apple, you can say. Yeah. Now, coming to rose, class or object? Object. Flower, class or object? Class. Right. Animal, class or object? Class. So, at the last, person class or object class person is a class. class Rahul class or object object now every object has some properties right yes like say age height height weight weight and every object can perform an action like eat sleep read, eat, Play. are the actions, right? Yeah. Now we have spoken generally. If I want to write a Java program or like a class, here, class, person is a class, right? Yes. Int age is a particular variable, integer variable, height is a float variable, void eat is a function or a method in Java we can say, okay? So, class is a collection of variables as well as
functions and yes. these functions are also known as methods in Java and we have seen that class doesn't exist physically means here there is no space allocated for age there is no space allocated for height or eat or read so without memory you can't perform any action so in order to allocate the space we create a term known as object like person Rahul so what is Rahul now it's an object don't go for the syntax I'm just saying the concept here that class doesn't have any, any memory and Rahul represents the memory for a class so here a memory block will be created with a memory known as name known as Rahul and here can I store age equals to 26 is it possible does yes. the age have memory oh no no right here age doesn't have memory Rahul has the memory where you can say Rahul dot age equals to 26 every yeah. time if you are trying to access a class or a structure member you need to mm. specify the dot operator which okay. access the particular variables or you can say Rahul dot eat means okay. that Rahul memory block will have an age of 26 value and you can execute the eat method here in Rahul okay, okay. so for one person one object if I say Kiran means what another memory block I can access Kiran dot age now Kiran dot eat and here the functionalities of Rahul will be differing from functionalities of Kiran, Kiran right so yes. next thing what we have to know is nothing but in Java there are a lot of classes for every class there is no memory and if you want to access the variables or methods we need to create object object is nothing but a memory block for a class that's the same thing we have to follow every time so every time we'll see a class variable method and an object suppose I'll give a better example like a classroom is there consider the classroom as a RAM I'm having 100 chairs in a classroom and only 20 students came so what will happen the remaining 80 chairs are wasted the same thing in the RAM also the memory location are getting wasted suppose I'll remove all the chairs and if a student is coming I'll ask bring a chair and sit so if 20 students are coming only 20 chairs will be occupied and the remaining yes. 80 chairs can be used somewhere else in other classrooms the same way yeah. here also if you are using a particular property in action create a memory use it if you want for another person create another object like that n number of objects can be created that's the principle of Java that's the reason we say oops object oriented means everything revolves around object itself okay yeah so if you understand this basic principle of class and object then you can learn Java there is no problem in that just you have to understand that for every class there is no memory and yes. if you want to allocate the memory we need to create the object by this I just conclude this demo part so that's it for today then.